How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Today we're going to be looking at measuring and layout tools. And there's no doubt that when you get into these tools, the number one name in the game is woodpeckers. But let's be honest, most of us just can't afford those crazy high prices of woodpecker tools. So we start looking for affordable alternatives. And after a whole bunch of research, I've decided that if you're looking for an affordable alternative to woodpeckers, you're not going to do any better than eye gauging. Before we get into this video, guys, I have a huge announcement. The Patriot DIY channel just hit 50,000 subscribers, and I just want to thank all of you for all the support over the last couple years, and I hope we'll just continue to grow from here. But I wanted to give you guys a little thank you, so we're going to be doing a giveaway. Stick around to the end of the video, and I'm going to tell you how you can win a set of these eye gauging layout squares for yourself. That's around $100 value to one of you lucky guys absolutely free as a thank you for supporting me over these last few years. So let's get in here and take a look at these eye gauging tools. All right, guys. Now, for the longest time now, the most used layout tools here in my shop have been a cheap Harbor Freight Speed Square and a Swanson Combination Square. And these have gotten the job done for a very long time. But as you progress in your woodworking journey, you start to look for tools that are more precise with a lot more features that help you out when you're laying out your projects. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, Woodpeckers is the number one name in the game when it comes to measuring and layout tools. The problem is they are extremely expensive and most of us just can't afford those crazy high prices. And inevitably that leads us to look for more affordable alternatives that are still high quality and precise enough for what we're looking to do. And that led me to a company called eye gauging. Eye gauging has a long line of measuring and layout tools that are accurate down to six thousandths of an inch, which is much more accurate than we ever need to be in woodworking projects. And a lot of these tools have a lot of extra features that up until now you could really only find with woodpeckers. So in front of me, I have several examples of different measuring and layout tools from eye gauging. And we're gonna go through and take a look at each one. We have the combination square set that comes with a six inch and a 12 inch with precise measurements down to 60 fourths of an inch. We also have the layout square set that comes with a seven inch and a 13 inch. And these have a lot of really cool extra features that we're gonna get in here and take a look at here in just a minute. And finally, we have their Gen 3 bench square set. That's a four inch and a six inch. These are gonna be very comparable to the Woodpecker's Delve squares with actually more features than the Delve square has. And again, we'll get to look at these in just a minute. But before we get into all that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. As always, guys, as we're taking a look at these, if you decide you wanna get these for yourself, I will have links in the description below. Now let's get in here and take a look at these eye gauging tools. All right, guys, the first ones we're gonna look at here is gonna be the pair of combination squares. It comes in very nice packaging with a nice foam padded storage case. And right off the bat, as soon as you get these in your hands, you can just feel the quality of it. They have a nice well-machined cast iron head here and a satin chrome finish on the blade here that reduces glare. But take a look at the markings here. You have very nice crisp lines. Now, like any other combination squares, you have a knob here to loosen that up so you can slide this down. It slides nice and smooth, but you can tell that it locks down nice and tight. And once you lock that thing down, this blade doesn't move at all. You have a small level here and a scribe tool here on the end. Nothing too surprising there. You find those features in most combination squares. But let's take a quick look at this blade. On this side, you have your eighth inch and 16th inch markings. On the other side, you have 30 seconds all the way down to 60 fourths. And you can see the nice crisp lines here so you can be ultra accurate. And as with all combination squares, you have your 90 degree and 45 degree angles on each side. Now this is the six inch square. We also have the 12 inch. All the markings and everything are the same on the 12 inch as they are on the six inch. Now obviously none of that matters if they aren't square. So 
And the way we're going to do this is we'll take the blade all the way out, lock it down, and then hook it on the end of the board here and make a mark. Then we'll flip it over and just make another mark. And I don't know if you guys can tell here, but I did two parallel lines. And what you're checking for is just to make sure you have the same size gap at the bottom as you do at the top and make sure they're perfectly parallel. And we do so we know that this is perfectly square. Of course, the other feature of a combination square is by flipping it over this way, you can also make 45 degree marks. Now we'll do the same test with the 12 inch version. Just hook it on the end of the board here and make a mark all the way from top to bottom. Then we'll flip that around, make another mark. And again, we are perfectly parallel all the way up. The combination square is one of the most used tools in my shop, so it's very important that they're accurate and precise. So these combination squares from eye gauging definitely fit the bill. And from what I can tell, they definitely rival the quality of woodpeckers and starret combination squares. Now let's take a look at probably my favorite tool in the eye gauging lineup, and that is their layout squares. Again, have very nice packaging here with a nice hard storage case. Again, this is going to come with a 7 inch layout square as well as a 13 inch layout square. And they even throw in a bonus pencil and extra lead to go along with it. Now, right off the bat, you can tell there are a lot of different features to this layout square. There's a ton of different markings on there. So we're going to go over what all of those are and all the different ways you can use this layout square. This has a solid aluminum single frame construction, precision CNC'd, so you have a true 90 degree square. It has this really nice blue anodizing with laser engraved white markings that really pop so you can easily see all of your lines here for laying out your projects. But right off the bat, a couple great features that I love about this thing. It does have a magnetic base, so this will lock down to your cast iron tops on your tools for setup. You can see here on the base, you have a quarter inch and a three eighths inch offset for finding the center of your material or for laying out tenons. Here on the opposite end, you have a one and a quarter inch scale and a two and a half inch scale right here. And one of the best things about this layout square is that this blade here extends from the base so that when you put it down on your workpiece, this holds it in place so you don't have to worry about trying to hold it in place. You can lay it there and it stays. On each side of the blade, you have 16th and 32nd inch markings. Another feature that I really like about this is that the smaller one here goes all the way out to seven inches on this end. So when you hook it onto your board for layout, you have a full six inches on the inside and seven inches on the outside. You also have marking holes here every 16th of an inch. So if I wanted to lay out a line at exactly two inches, I just hook it on the end of the board, put my pencil down in that two inch hole, and then I can drag it along the workpiece to make a perfect two inch line. Another thing I like is right here, you can see we have a center scale. So right here is your zero point, and then you have going out one inch, two inch, three inch, so you can easily find center of any workpiece. One other feature I wanna point out is that you have an angle here on the base. So not only can you make your 90 degree markings, but you can also line up that angled part of the base with your workpiece and make perfect 45 degree markings. You also notice we have several preset angles here that you can also mark with this layout square. The way that works is you hook this on the end of your board. We're gonna make a mark right here at the end of the square. We'll also make a mark here in the center at whatever angle we want to make. So if I wanted a 30 degree angle, I make a mark here in that hole. Then all I have to do is line up that dot with that mark there. And then I have a perfect 30 degree angle. And again, the 12 inch is just a larger version of the exact same thing. So before we get any further, let's go ahead and test the accuracy. So eye gauging claims that the accuracy of the squareness of these is six thousandths of an inch. We'll just hook this here on the end of the board and make a mark all the way down. Then we'll flip the square over and then make another mark right beside it. 
And again, I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but these two lines are perfectly parallel and evenly spaced all the way from top to bottom. We'll do the same thing here with the seven inch, make a mark from top to bottom, flip it over, same thing right beside it. And again, perfectly even and perfectly parallel from top to bottom. So it's safe to say that both of these are perfectly square. Again, I really love all the features of this. Now moving on to another very impressive tool that's gonna to be their bench squares. And just like all the rest, they come in a very nice padded hard case. They are gonna provide you with a bone S pencil and extra lead. Now at first glance, these look like your average speed squares. You have a four inch and a six inch but these are so much more than just speed squares. Now probably one of the most popular tools from woodpeckers is going to be their delve square. But this Gen 3 bench square here from eye gauging is going to do everything that that woodpeckers delve square does and more. Now the ones I have here are the single frame solid aluminum construction, but eye gauging also makes this in stainless steel if you're interested in that. And I will link to both of those in the description below. Now I use this six inch one a lot for laying out my projects, but this four inch one is very convenient for setting up tools, setting the angle of blades, and it fits really nicely into your pocket or apron. But let's take a quick look at some of the features here. Just like on the layout square, we have a quarter inch and three eighths inch offset on the base here. That's gonna be great for finding the center of your workpiece or for laying out tenons. And you can see that this entire thing is machined from one solid piece of aluminum. It has that same blue anodized finish with that laser engraved white markings. You can see here on the base, we have a three inch scale here with markings down to a 32nd of an inch. And just like the delve square and the layout square we just took a look at, we also have these CNC machined holes going all the way up the blade. And the purpose of that, again, is for marking lines. So if I hook this on the end of my board and I want to make a mark at two and a half inches, I just stick my pencil down in here and then drag it along. And we have a perfect two and a half inch mark here. Now, one interesting thing about both of these squares is that you have your marking holes here every 16th of an inch. Most bench squares that have this feature only go to every eighth of an inch. So you have a lot more precision here with these squares from eye gauging. Now let's take a look here at some of the other features. Again, we have our laser engraved markings every 16th of an inch. You also have a small scale here on the inside. Obviously you have a 90 degree and a 45 degree angle here on the square, but you also have some other preset angles here. You have a 45 there, 30 degree there. But one really cool feature about this Gen 3 bench square from eye gauging is right here in the end, you also have a little miter pin. So the way this works, you have some other preset angles here at 67 and a half, 60, 45, 30, and 22 and a half. So for example, if I want to make a mark at 22 and a half degrees, I take the pin and I just drop it down into that hole. I'm just going to use the pivot point here and I'm going to hook that onto the end of the board and I want to move the square until that pin rests up against the edge of the workpiece. And then I can make a mark at exactly 22 and a half degrees. Of course, you also have several other angles marked all the way down at 5, 10, 15, and going on from there. So again, these squares are very impressive. A lot of really cool features. The obvious features that you see in every speed square, but these bench squares are going to give you a lot more capability. These things are very impressive. And again, eye gauging also offers these bench squares in stainless steel if you're interested in that as well. Now again, we're gonna test the squareness of these just by hooking it here on the end of the board. We'll make a line from top to bottom, then flip it over, make another line right beside it. And no surprise there, just like all the other eye gauging tools, perfectly parallel and perfectly even all the way up. Now we'll test the four inch the same way. And again, same results. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for the measuring and layout tools from eye gauging. And just to give you a little price comparison, this bench square set from eye gauging comes in right around 50 to $55. The comparable aluminum delve squares from woodpeckers is going to cost you about $175 for the exact same thing. So if you're like me and you're looking for that middle ground between your big box store speed squares and the ultra high priced woodpecker tools i really don't think you can go wrong with eye gauging let me know what you guys think in the comment section below again i will have links to all of these if you want to get those for yourself now the part that a lot of you guys have been waiting for i am going to be giving away a set of these layout squares to one of you lucky viewers just as a thank you for 50,000 subscribers, I honestly just can't believe that I am where I am right now, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So if you wanna enter the contest to win these layout squares, I'm also gonna be throwing in my favorite woodworking tape measure. This is the Lefty Righty from Fast Cap. So between this and the layout squares, you'll be well on your way to having all the measuring and layout tools you need for the projects in your shop. To enter this contest guys there will be a link in the description below i'm also going to be posting this on all my other social medias what you need to do is go to that link to enter the contest now once you get there there will be several other things that you can do to get extra entries for example you can join the patriot diy crew you get a lot of members only content there uh, you can go visit my other youtube channel different things like that And if you check off all those boxes you'll get extra entries into this contest so you have a better chance of winning last but not least guys to win this contest you do have to be subscribed to the patriot diy channel and i would also love it if you guys would go out and share this with all of your friends that helps me out and you'll get a lot of extra entries for sharing this with friends so thanks again for 50,000 subscribers i hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to check out the links in the description and as always guys Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.